Hello everyone. Now the next concept that one is the JSP Java Server Pages. That one is contained from Unit 4. It contains an introduction about to the JSP. Now the JSP and the servlet. Difference between the JSP and servlet. Now the running JSP application. Basic JSP syntax. Job in class and JSP. And support for the MVC architecture about to the JSP and JSP related technologies. I will go with this session with an introduction about to the JSP. JSP means the Java server pages. It's a um, Java technology. Now the server side technology, JSP is a server side technology. Under the web technology, it's a technology divided into the server side and the uh, client side. The JSP which one is used under the server side. Now, with using the JSP, we create the web application. We create the dynamic web application with the dynamic web content. Now, JSP tag are used to insert the Java code into the HTML page. At the time of web development, we use the HTML, HTML pages. Under the HTML page, we use the JSP Java server pages tag to write the Java code. Advanced version of servlet technology jsp is an advanced version of servlet technology servlet is also the uh, server side technology which one is used to uh, manage the client request now web based technology jsp is a web based technology which one is create the dynamic uh, create a dynamic and uh, uh, platform independent web pages java code can be inserted into the html or xml pages JSP is the first converted into the servlet by JSP content. It means a JSP code which one is converted into the servlet code or the that one is again a dot Java file before processing the client request. This one is a simpler about to the JSP, what exactly JSP is. Now JSP pages are more advantageous than servlet. Servlet if we consider servlet is a technology which one is used under the web development as a server side jsp is again advanced than the servlet there are easy uh, they are easy to maintain as compared to the servlet jsp is easy to maintain no recompilation or the redeployment is required when we just to carry the code from one point to the another point there is no need to a uh, recompile or redeployment is required because of it's a uh, platform independent jsp has access to entire the api of a java that one is whatever the java environment or the java api jsp uh, have access about to the uh, entire api of a java jsp are extend extended version of servlet we can say that the jsp is an extended version of a servlet now the features of jsp Coding in a JSP is easy. We can say that the advantage about to the JSP over servlet. Coding is uh, coding in a JSP is easy. Reduction in the length of code with the help of JSP, the code length will be reduced. Connection to the database is easier. That the database connectivity code will be the easier. Make an interactive websites so with the help of JSP. We can create the interactive websites. Now the portable, powerful, flexible, and easy to maintain with the JSP. No redeployment and no recompilation is needed because of the platform independent process of, uh, of a JSP. Extension to servlet. We can say that JSP is an extension to the servlet. It has all features of servlet and implicitly object and custom type. Means uh, all the servlet features which one is comes under the JSP and additionally it run with the additional features. Now the syntax about to the JSP that is a declaration tag. If we want to declare the variable, it should be a uh, with a opening bracket, percentage, explanatory mark, then the data type variable and the value of value. This is the syntax which one is used to declaration. Now the Java scriptlet, if we want to write the code of a JSP, that will be a mentioned with like this, with the syntax of this. In between the Java code will be a there, uh, will be a come. 
Now the JSP expression, if we want to write an expression under the JSP Java server pages, it will be a with a percentage and equal to. The three different syntax for declaration, it come with the explanatory marks. To write a Java code, that one is only the opening bracket percentage, Java code percentage and closing bracket. If we want to write an expression, then the percentage is equal to whatever the expression is or it may be a num1 is equal to num1 plus num2. This is the way to mention the expression under the JSP. Now the comment, this is the syntax to mention a comment under the JSP. This is simply the basic syntax about to the how to write a JSP code. This is a simple example which one is print the hello world on a browser. It's simply the HTML code and it contains a simple Java code which one is under the uh, expression tag that is uh, here we mention expression JSP expression and hello world which one is mentioned with the expression tag. This is simply the about to the uh, what exact the JSP is. Now the last advantage of JSP and disadvantage about to the JSP. It not required advanced knowledge of Java. If we want to know about the JSP, there is no need to advance knowledge about to the Java. Now it handle the exceptions. Easy to use and learn. It can tags which are easy to use and understand. Whatever the tags comes under the JSP, it will be the easy to understand. Implicit object are there, which reduce the length of code. Like a implicit objects means an inbuilt object, which means a existing object we can use under the JSP. And definitely it reduce the code of the, the size of code. It is suitable for both Java and the non-Java program. JSP is a suitable for both Java and non-Java program. Now the disadvantage is difficult to debug for error. First time access leads to a wastage of time. Initially it will be a difficult or maybe a identifying the error under the JSP is difficult. It is output in uh, is HTML which lacks of features. Somehow the some features related to the HTML uh, which, which, is, which is a lacking about to the under the JSP. This is simply the explanation or the introduction about to the JSP.